going to learn the G chord and the G7 chord. So if you play the guitar, the G chord is going to look very, very familiar because it's the same chord structure and shape on the same strings as the D chord on the guitar. So we'll get a little close up of what's going on in my fingers here. When you play the G chord, we put finger number one in the second fret on the third string. I like to think of the G chord as sort of like a sandwich. So we're going to make the bread right here. So we have to leave the second string not being played. So the middle finger is going to stay in the same fret as the index finger. Both of my fingers are in the second fret, but we're leaving the middle open. So this is like the bread part of the sandwich. So the middle finger is on string one, the index finger is on string three, and then that ring finger is going to be the filling of the sandwich. So the one string that is not being played right now in between is string number two. So that middle finger is going to play, or sorry, not middle finger, the ring finger, is going to play on string two in fret number three. And when you put that all together and push all three down, you get the G chord. The G7 chord is similar, but instead of being just a regular major chord, we get a little bit more tension with the G7 chord because of the seventh note of the scale, the dominant seventh. So the um, F to G7 is a nice switch because you can actually leave your index finger anchored. So we'll get a close up of what the G7 chord looks like. So when we play G7, it's like a sandwich as well, but the middle of the sandwich is going to be played by your index finger and it's going to be in the very first fret on string number two. So if that's the middle of the sandwich, then we fill in with our middle finger on string number three and our ring finger on string number one. I know it's hard to see this, but here is the filling. Here is piece of bread number one, piece of bread number two, and this is our G7 sandwich. Okay, so one, two, three. Please note that these two fingers, the bread fingers, are in the same fret. They're both on in fret number two. Now we can practice a chord progression starting on C. So we'll do eight strums on C, eight strums on A minor, eight strums on F, and then this will be the easiest one to switch to. Let's keep finger number one anchored and we'll play G7 for eight strums. We'll take this one a little bit slower so that we can try to keep up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get your middle finger ready. Switch to A minor. Remember for F, we only have to add one finger. Ready, here comes F. Keep your index finger anchored. We're gonna make a sandwich. Ready, G7. And then back to C, we just have to slide that ring finger over. We can try the same chord progression, but instead of going from F to G7, where we get to keep the index finger anchored on the second string, now we're going to go from F to G, so that means that we're going to have to move all of our fingers at once. This one will take a little bit more practice, but that's okay. Here, we'll start on C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch to A minor. Ready? G. 